President Emmanuel Macron called for a snap parliamentary election in France to bring clarity to the political landscape. However, the surprising second round results have left the situation more chaotic than ever before. Despite Marine, Le Pen's far right national rally and party leading the first round, a surge in support for the left wing. New popular front, NFP coalition thwarted their chances. Now, French politics is in disarray. In the decisive second round, the NFP emerged as the largest group with 182 seats in the National Assembly. Macron's centrist ensemble alliance made a strong recovery to win 163 seats, while the RN and its allies secured 143 seats. However, with none of these parties reaching the 289 seat absolute majority required, France now has a hung parliament. The NFP's victory, although not decisive, reflects the principle of a cordon sanitaire, where mainstream parties unite to prevent the extreme right from gaining power. Consequently, the far right party has been kept at bay, but remains potent in their influence. The atmosphere at RN's election, night events quickly, turned sour as supporters witnessed their party's third place position. Jordan Bardella, the young leader chosen by Le Pen to rebrand the party, expressed his disappointment, blaming dangerous electoral deals made between the NFP and Ensemble for depriving the French people of an RN-led government. Bardella accused Macron of deliberately paralyzing the country's institutions and pushing it towards uncertainty and instability. The outcome of France's shock election leaves many questions unanswered. Who will become the next prime minister? And has Macron's ambitious gamble paid off? Only time will tell as France navigates through this uncertain political landscape.